Okay, so to begin, I'm going to give you a little bit of background information on the NERF2 pathway. The NERF2 pathway was recently discovered, despite that it has opened many doors to many medical opportunities. This pathway works to neutralize free radicals which cause oxidative stress. With the elimination of this oxidative stress through the production of antioxidants utilizing the NERF2 pathway, humans have the potential to live longer, healthier lives with less sickness. The most successful products with NERF2 activation are actually natural and have shown amazing results. With new technology, the possibilities truly are endless when it comes to medicinal breakthroughs. With research, this technology could even be used to cure cancer and slow the aging process. In order to fully understand the NERF2 pathway, we first need to understand oxidative stress. According to Webster Dictionary, oxidative stress is physiological stress on the body caused by cumulative damage done by free radicals inadequately neutralized by antioxidants, which is held to be associated with aging. Free radicals, or reactive oxygen species, are highly reactive oxygen molecules, the most common of which include superoxide, hydrogen peroxide, hydroxyl radical, nitric oxide, and peroxyl radical. These free radicals have unpaired electrons and will often take electrons from proteins or lipids. This causes damage to cell membranes, DNA, enzymes, and tissue structures because they are comprised of those proteins and lipids. The most, free, the most reactive free radical is called superoxide and is actually produced in the mitochondria of cells during aerobic cellular respiration. The enzyme superoxide dismutase neutralizes the free radical, turning it into hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is still a free radical, but it's much less potent. With the addition of other antioxidant enzymes, hydrogen peroxide can become simply water and oxygen, which is no longer harmful to cells. Antioxidant enzymes donate their own electrons, which neutralize and deactivate free radicals. Now, free radicals may sound really bad, but in fact, we actually need them to transport glucose and grow muscle. However, when there are few, too few antioxidants and too many free radicals, cell damage occurs. So, now that we understand oxidative stress, we can take a look at the NERF2 pathway itself. The NERF2 pathway is a DNA transcription factor which increases the production of antioxidant enzymes whenever the body is under stress. The NERF2 pathway senses this stress and starts protective responses such as reducing free radical damage. Antioxidants are a huge portion of our body's defenses. They neutralize these free radicals, preventing them from doing harm to cells. Now, the really important thing to understand here is that there's two kinds of antioxidants, exogenous and endogenous. Now, the main difference is that exogenous antioxidants need to be acquired through outside means, such as diet. We can't make them in our body. But the endogenous antioxidants are actually produced by this NERF2 pathway. So if we can activate it, our body will produce these antioxidants naturally. The really cool thing is that exogenous antioxidants have a ratio of 1 to 1, meaning that one molecule of antioxidant can neutralize one molecule of free radical. However, the endogenous uh, antioxidants can deactivate one molecule of antioxidant can deactivate millions of free radical molecules, which is why it's so important to learn how to activate your NERF2 pathway. So, we can activate the NERF2 pathway naturally or synthetically. Let's look at natural first. Food is a huge part of natural activation. There are a few food groups that are key, such as fruits, especially blueberries, tea and coffee, vegetables such as broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. Exercise is also a huge part of this because exercise starts those certain antioxidant systems 
producing those endogenous antioxidants. So it's really important to maintain a, an active lifestyle. Intermittent fasting has also been shown to turn on these survival genes and activate the NERF2 pathway. But keep in mind that all of this should be taken in moderation since every person responds just a bit differently. Synthetic activation is a little bit different. The first one I'm going to talk about is called Protandum, and it's made by LifeVantage, and it's actually a natural NERF2 synergizer. It's got five different botanicals in a specific formula that has multiple patents, and it activates the NERF2 pathway to produce superoxide dismutase, which is that endogenous antioxidant which neutralizes the most reactive free radical superoxide. Protandum boasts a 40% reduction rate in oxidative stress in an average of 30 days. It has been validated by peer review studies, which are available for your view online. The alternative to Protandum, which is all synthetic, it's made by a pharmaceutical company, is called Tecfidera. This is what it looks like. Tecfidera is being used to treat multiple sclerosis. And, however, Tecfidera can lower the immune system, which is why it does have a list of side effects. So, you're going to have to, if you want to look into this, see which one works better for you. Because you want to make sure that you're doing what's right for your body, since everyone's body is a little bit different. I personally would go for the natural thing first. So now that we know what the NERF2 pathway is, we should look at some studies to see the research behind this NERF2 activation and if it actually works. There was a study conducted with rodents who had thinning retinas. They were actually able to protect the rodents' retinas through NERF2 and stop them from thinning, saving their eyesight. Another sh study showed that NERF2 activation had a promise, showed promise in a being a possible future cancer treatment in the field of chemotherapy. The NERF2 activation actually weakened the cancer cells and made them easier to destroy, making chemotherapy treatment much easier on the patient because this chemotherapy drug would not have to be so strong because these cancer cells are now easier for the drug to kill. NERF2 activation has the possibility to change the entire way people look at medicine. It offers a way to not get sick and not age as quickly. It's a preventative medicine as well as the treatment of many different diseases, even slowing the age process. The possibilities truly are endless as there are no side effects because it is a natural occurrence in the body. NERF2 activation is a revolutionary new science that has the potential to change the lives of humans forever. It provides a safe way to reduce oxidative stress and help people live happier, healthier lives. There are many ways to activate the NERF2 pathway and many studies are still being conducted to gather more information about the possibilities available through its application. These studies have shown great promise in cancer research, multiple sclerosis treatment, the anti-aging process, and so much more. This is truly an amazing new discovery, and with enough effort and an open mind, NERF2 activation can change how we view medicine entirely. These are my sources. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to learn any more information about this, feel free to chat me in this discussion or check out any of these resources. The LifeVantage website has a lot of information on this, as well as a pamphlet made by Dr. Sean Tablet titled Deadly Antioxidants. So if you'd like to do that, check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in CZ.